So ayahuasca is a ceremonial tool used by people that had a good relationship with the plant spirits. And in modern times, people are searching for themselves. And when times get tough, that's what happens. And we're living through um, a major shift in consciousness. So people are using it any which way they can get it, uh, you know, and it's become mainstream. So when people have asked me over the years what I think about um, ayahuasca and everything, I have never personally done it because I didn't need to have that. Uh, I, I consider it a shortcut, but just go with me here because some people do have major uh, shifts in their whole being by using this plant medicine. And, you know, there's tours that you can go to over in to South America, different places around the world to do these different ceremonies with people who are skilled. And so I'm not touching that. That's a little disclaimer here. You know, what I'm saying here is my own wisdom uh, about this plant. And it's known now we don't need plant medicine to get us there. And so it was used so that we could somehow reach our enlightenment. And so it is some kind of a shortcut in a way, because you have everything inside of you. The kingdom is within you. And so we go and we do these certain things and we be with ourselves, and we have our still moments during the day and we meditate and we relax and we keep ourselves in check, keep ourselves together in a way. And then things happen because you're searching. So whatever you're searching for has been hunting you the entire time. It's bound to happen. So ayahuasca now with the shift, and I saw it when I was working on a client that, you know, it's not the best thing to use right now during the shift. And if it works for you, that's great. But from what I've seen from my own personal direct revelations is that, you know, uh, the frequency is not really that great. And I've seen souls hanging from the vine, just trying to find themselves and they lose themselves because they're hungry, like acting like hungry souls to find themselves because they're so desperate for this enlightenment. It's like that permanent high they're trying to find. And then they can never find it no matter what they do. And so it's been told and then they hear it through the grapevine that ayahuasca is something that's going to bring them to their enlightenment. And again, with anything, if you do not have a frequency that matches the frequency of the plant, it might uh, you know, create havoc within the systems of the body. And I've cleansed this stuff out of people after coming back from trips, ayahuasca trips. So, uh, and again, I'm not saying that not to do it or to do it. It's just that perhaps this will help you make your decision on, uh, you know, if you want to pursue any, your interest in, in using this plant for your expansion of yourself. And again, uh, you know, we're in the stage now in the consciousness that we don't need anything outside of ourselves. Now, if there's assistance that you need from another person, that's where two or more gather, and then some recalibration can happen. That's what I provide in my services. Uh, then that's, you know, that's, that's like having any kind of therapy during these times, and that's helpful. Uh, nothing that harms the self, I was supposed to say. And, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, that's all I really need to say about it. I mean, I could go on and on. If you have any more questions, if you have any questions, at all about, uh, you know, um, anything that was discussed here, please let me know. Send your message to me. I would like to hear your thoughts on that too. And uh, again, I'm not saying not to do it or to do it. It's just that I know when I'm tapping into it from my own personal direct revelations is that we don't need to utilize this ayahuasca or the DMT or anything that they is out there for people to come home to themselves. So thank you so much for listening.